We do have Sonic Laboratories being built everywhere, so we can get a lot of side training for people and eventually get in good with that. Seems to lead to this whole dreaming thing where we bring Psy capable people and Psy good people with Psy weapons into a dream state. And they have to do it as a solo mission or so, which is kind of a cool idea. We'll see how it pans out. Otherwise... You know, working on just... Just stuff. Stuff and things. Nothing really usable or needed, but stuff nonetheless. Viral Blade. Nothing we can make, but we can just learn to use it, I suppose. We'll see. Just pounding it out. We had a, uh, a nice one-two punch going with the laser pistols in conjunction with the dart pistols with the clip C doing I think 46 stun damage or so. Seems to be a pretty okay bet to get them stunned and we just tackle them down, handcuff them and medkit them up over the next couple turns and seems to work okay. Ideally we fight something that isn't sectoid so I can just pull out the rifles and shoot them down but the sectoid shield we gotta get that down first. Stingray missiles on the thunderstorm seems to be just an always all the time constant issue. How about how about you just equip nothing for a minute, you sit there on timeout for a day, and then we'll pull weapons back on you and see what happens. Because man, I don't know. Mega zombie corpse? This was the, the ogre, I think, right? This zombie variant was artificially created by overfeeding a fat zombie while preventing it from turning into an infector. As a result, all excess energy was redirected into body mass, creating an unusually large and strong fat zombie. Its body contains additional energy reserves, giving it enormous vitality. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not? And now we can process them into plasma. Giant spider queen corpse is done as well. The spider is not only much bigger than average, it also has a more complex brain. Although it is difficult to estimate its mental strengths from dissection alone, otherwise it is similar to the smaller ones, fast, vicious, and absolutely horrifying. Only 10 times more so if our agents are to be believed. Cool. It's all just lore stuff at this point. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Ben Ken? How you doing? Hawaii base confirmed to be ethereals. Maybe we do that today. Maybe we try it today. I don't know. I'd like to get the Psylabs done and see what we can do with that first. And then see, because when I think it's their real base, I think mind control. So I want people who are pretty sturdy mentally to, uh, to do that. We might even have to combine people from different bases and uh, take, take the best of take the best of the world's forces to go get them. Vibro axes. Oh, God, I don't know. That'd be great. Although I'd probably use like reactions and bravery, so it'd actually be terrible because it's just how it's going. <laughs> Uh, Toxic suits, right? They just did. I think just money? Uh, Nobelon we needed at some point too, I think. I think there is a, a slight shortage potentially. We're, we're running out of excessive reserves. We can make 41,594. I'll instead make like 80 or something. That'll get us by for a little while and disperse that across the bases. Vibroblade, you know what you love it. 80 cutting damage, 90% melee accuracy, timing a cost of 16, based strictly on melee accuracy, no power bonus at all though. It's long, sharp, and spins extremely fast. This device can crack even the toughest diving armor, not saying much. The power source is an alien invention. Our attempt at building these items before met with dismal failure. Our blades rotated too slowly or exploded under pressure. Womp. But with alien alloys. We'll get uh, just some dudes on these. You're doing great, you have an autumn break at uni, so you technically should be doing your mandatory Swedish, but you have a week before you need to return the assignment, so why do something now that you can do tomorrow? <laughs> I used to think that way, but I actually, I convinced myself that it was more rewarding. Like, mentally and stressly, stressly? Rewarding just to get it done with. 
so then I don't have to think about it anymore, and that's just my general approach to stuff in life now. It's nice. It's better in the long term, I think. If you can just convince yourself initially just to get it done with, and be finished with it, it's so nice just being like, I don't have to give a shit about anything anymore. You just go about your day. Just sit your ass on a couch, hang out with a Nintendo Switch or something. Good stuff. Small, very high north. It also doesn't help that both of my brothers were uh, very, very bad procrastinators. So I've sort of seen kind of the worst that can come of that. Another small over there. What is that? Oh yeah, the afterburner, right? Ugh, just bring it in close, it's fine. That's okay. Don't do the mission. You will also shoot down. With the thunderstorm with weapons. Ah, let's not just ram into this thing. I remembered. Last second, but I did remember. I have a thruster as well, and we don't have anything for electronics. Okay. So we'll let him sit and do whatever while you guys prepare for... Whatever is on this... I almost called it a boat? A, a big flying boat. Bad old alcoholic talk. Haven't been jogging for weeks and that Swedish procrastinating thing reminded you of it. Gotta get running. Yeah, get out there. Do it. Have a nice run. Take your mind off everything. Just go. What's the best? Especially if you're fat, old, and alcoholic. Um, a little bit of a jog wouldn't be a bad idea. Go for it. I'll, I'll be here when you're back. Presumably. I think you go full Forrest Gump and like go running cross country or something, in which case I'll, I'll probably catch you sometime next week because I'll be here every week. Fuck, probably still stunning aliens too. God damn it, you won't miss anything. You could take like a month break from watching me and you, you wouldn't have anything to catch up on. Fuck. Noblon looks okay. Laser pistols, I think we got that set up for everybody except maybe New Zealand. We'll get to... Uh, Six of them on there. Alien laser rifles worked-ish, but not quite. Standard rifles are definitely the way to go, I think. Heavy laser in case we fight something actually scary. And then dart-wise, dart pistol with clip C. We also got dart rifles in case it's something actually convenient. Though we don't have dart rifle clip C. We ought to make some of those. Maybe I queue that up. Because I think these guys here are making the, uh, just making money. I think baseball bats we can take off. We'll just rock the stun rods and just see. I, I don't know. I'm still not convinced about melee stun. There's like two people at this base who could maybe pull it off, in which case we could see about getting the... We got like a big, big hammer thing that we could make. What was that called? What is that and why is that? Equipment. Well, weapon, really. Power mace, that thing. We got, we got, I think, two or three people that could maybe make that thing work. Okay, you're making aquaplastic suits. That's fine, too. That's also important. Four more suits to make. Go for it. We'll have somebody else, then, make the... Uh... Dart Rifle Clip C. So we have those. We'll need some for everybody. We can make upwards of 4,600, so no problem there. With, like, 80. Because if we fight something that doesn't have a shield, like Snake Men, then I want as much stun damage as possible pumped into it, and the extra 10 or 11 or so damage that the rifle brings, as well as the additional range that we get from it, is definitely the way to go. However, against Sectoids, that shield is a massive paw, uh, paw ache? Fuck. Like, developing a fursona live on stream. Help. Send help. A, uh... I don't even know what I was saying anymore. You know what I'm saying. You guys can just do the commentary. Fill it in for me, yeah? I'll just play the game. No, don't dismantle the hangar. What's happening to me? Help. <laughs> oh, God. We okay? Equipment-wise, we were fine. Armor looks good. Tanks are on. Okay. Let's head out. Itsune. God, fucking. And you're refueling, rearming for just ages. 
hanging around Hans too much. Apparently, God. Fuck. Um. Right, who gets actual zappy weapons? Lord Brasco with a pistol will be fine. Um, you know, let's, um... Let's change it around a little bit and see how that goes. The people with a lot of accuracy. So we can go for some snapshots decently. Because you guys can take aim shots with the pistol, and that'll be okay, I think. I don't think- do I have a, a laser pistol loadout? No, I don't. Okay. And we got- we got some handcuffs and- and med kits and such, and we got a- we got a stun rod if needed, and... We had 98 melee on Dave. Which is quite okay. We'd be looking at, like, over 80, I think, was the mark, or was it over 70? Was the mark where it's like, okay, we can somewhat reliably hit them with a melee weapon. Because these gave no bonus to melee accuracy. The baseball bats, I think, was two-thirds of melee accuracy plus 25. So even with garbage skill, you've still got that 25 to hinge on. I think it was like baseball bats are the way to go, unless you're at over 80 melee or so, and then you can switch over to a stun rod, and that's all right. Something like that. But with the power mace, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to take a look and, and try it out again, I guess. We have cuffs for you. Oh yeah, and the size strength people have a skulljack. All one of you. It's Dave, of course. Dave just gets all the things. All right, end the first turn. The handcuffs keep them down. Even if they were to wake up, they they stay down, I believe. It's a flower pot. No, it's down here. It's a sectoid. Of course it's a sectoid. Why wouldn't it be? What else do we have around here? Are we in the corner? Okay, we're in that corner. That's maybe okay. Yeah, Alright, take the shot. 77%. Bam. Took out the shield. Yeah, hurt him a bit, so he's bleeding some. That's fine. He retaliated with his pistol. We don't mind, though. We can take it. Lord Braska, give you a aim shot, 60%. Uh, he's down. Easy peasy. We run over, we doctor him up, we cuff him. He's in a bit of a rough spot though, so we'll see. I don't know if we can really make it over there in time. Especially since the ship is also there, it's a bit of a risk. Okay. Watch out for the rifle there. He's gonna come up. He's still gonna shoot at you, little Miss Cuddle, so I hope you're ready for it. Get a couple Phillips ready to handle it when it shows up. And a few more, you're ready to jump down. Okay. Ow. Good shot. Nice reaction. Praise the sunset on fire. He's still down there. Okay. He's run off back behind there. I will take advantage and hit this wall then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rogue as well. So, you being on fire, not a problem. That's what this is for. Eh. Good job, Fletcher Reed. Alright, and the great thing about tanks is they don't have to, like, heal up in a sick bay or anything like that. We just insta-repair their armor to get their health back, so they're still useful next mission. It's not like it's going to be out for months and months and months. Which is a little bit bullshit, but, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is.
Did we keep you there? You had a rifle, which is a little bit scary. Let's get a little closer with you. You don't need to be over there. You can hang in tight with us. Is that a door right there on the ship? Oh, it is. Disgusting. So, first question. It's an engineer. Fantastic. We will... Uh... Doctor you first thing. And we'll get ready to cuff you. Next turn. Because if you wake up, well now if you wake up, you can just grab your weapons and stuff because, you know, you're standing on them. But ordinarily, uh, they wake up, it's, it's generally fine. They can't really do a whole lot. Dude had a pistol though, so it's kind of fine. Nasty looking sex toy it is? Oh, it's a head scratcher thing. They call it a whisk, but no, it's a head scratchy. I don't know if this dude's running across or if we gotta shoot through the fence or because I think he's still down there. No, nope, he's just standing right there. What a what a guy. I assume you were alone down here. You're also a soldier, so nobody cares about you. Theoretical theory, hang out there. Little Miss Cuddles, auto fire. Looks clear. Looks clear. Good, good. So there's that. Thing with the tanks is they have a spare armor in base to change. That's why it's easy to repair the damage one. There you go. That's that's how it works. I I don't have a spare suit, but we can say that. When we make one, we make spare plates and stuff, and we just Yeah no. Switch on the new one to make it work and in the meantime repair the old one. I guess that works out. Am I forgetting anybody? Nah. Okay, he's still sleeping there. This guy's bleeding out. We, uh... Can finish him off. I guess inside the ship, huh? Cuff to... Ah, fuck. We're doing that again, are we? Yeah, shit. Dave, help! The cuffs are on too tight. You don't have a med kit, Dave. Whoa. Ah, shit. Fucking handcuffs. Why do the handcuffs put them in critical state? Ah, maybe we don't even bother with handcuffs then. That's twice that's happened now, and this guy is probably gonna die next turn because they only do this when they're super fucking critical. Ah, oh, shit. Such garbage. Guess you don't need that, but I suppose it doesn't really hurt having it either. Like, maybe for mutons and stuff, the cuffs are okay. Maybe because we're using titanium cuffs, which are... They say they're designed for the stronger stuff, but I guess it's just... They clamp on too tight? Oh, thank fuck, he's okay. He's okay, he's just sleeping now. Phew! Phew! I thought for sure we were gonna lose him. Dude was flatlining? <laughs> he had to, like, defibrillate him after putting cuffs on? Oh, Jesus. Hey, you're putting handcuffs around their throats, apparently. God. Could you not? Yeah, another door there. Okay.
There's that again. And she can't use their weapon. We got anybody for damaging around here? Or? They're all down there, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Some mod option to disable the critical overstun crap. I think I could just remove that as a, a mechanic, but uh, I'm not going to. But it is a stupid mechanic. I, I agree to that. Alright. Looking fine. Ugh, oh, rogue. <laughs> Just watched the stream where my housewarming gift died. It had a good run. It did have a good run, Luffler. I'm sorry about your Tritanium rocket launcher tank, man. How's the move going, by the way? Is that all, uh... Is that already done? Been a few. I assume so if if you're here. Dude just hanging out inside his office here, isn't he? I don't uh, I don't really know the ship layout at all. Like at all. Well, this room looks plenty safe. Whoops. Looks way safe. He does to go through a couple doors to get in at you. Yeah, I think you're meant to use close cutters combat and just overwhelm them with melee. I think it's just balanced around that. In fact, I'm pretty positive it's balanced around the... Sanity doing okay? Yeah, no problem there. He's just hanging out in his office. And this is an actual wall, right? Yeah, that's an actual wall. Alright. Well, be ready to jump in through here, then. You can never be too careful, you know? Ooh, he actually moved that time. Okay, next turn we're going in. They opened their door this time. Nah. Uh, flashbang. And fire. Straight up killed him. That's okay, I'll take it. I will take it. We got an engineer. That's good. Engineers are one of the ones that we want. Take a tank in there? Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Just like scraping along the hallway walls and all that. What the hell is that sound out there? Scream! <laughs> the turret just impales through the door and pries it open like the, uh... Like a Terminator 2 opening the elevator doors. <laughs> ah, shit. Or just impaling the t cannon through the door just straight up like in Silent Hill. The movie? The first one? I think. Something like that. Rogue with plus one acceleration. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alien rounds a corner and all they see is just a spinning barrel of the minigun. <laughs> just park it into their face. With the barrel. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how we do it. Well, there's we could sell, right? That was one of the things on the list that can go. Be 
items it. 38 alloys, power source, navigation, the corpses, the engineer. We need to learn about ships, but also th this stuff. I think the gravity generator would be the coolest because that unlocks fun stuff. That makes my life significantly easier. It would be very cool to have an alien gravity generator researched. I'd like that. Did I ever autopsy a sec to it? I think, uh, yeah, we did. But like only one of them, oddly? I don't know. I'm going to keep a <laughs> good question. I'm not sure. There's two sectoid corpses, apparently. Okay. Uh, very good. Inland containment's full. Transfer to the Middle East then. The engineer. So, handcuffs. No more. They're too much. Maybe basic handcuffs would be okay. Maybe it's just titanium ones. Hey, uh, NK. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. The leveler is all moved in. Still have boxes to unpack, of course. Well, you just turned in the keys to your apartment this morning. Aw, oh, man. Good feeling. Finally being out of the apartment. Can imagine. Um. How long? 14 hours, okay. South America, though. You can work on the... Sectoid corpus isn't in the list. Maybe we have done it. I don't know. Stingray missiles. Dude, I swear, I bought, like, so fucking many. There, have 44 Stingray missiles. Quit bothering me about its weapons not having ammo. Just stop it. You're being ridiculous, Guild Dog Corpse. Yet another missing image. Our agents were correct in their assessment of this creature. It has, it really has both lungs and gills. Its scaly hide gives it protection against most forms of damage, especially chemical, and its body structure can withstand great pressures like ocean depths or explosions. The jaws are powerful and extremely nasty. Wait till you meet the Bloodhound. Ugh. Speaking of, of which, Bloodhound Corpse also, no image. The Nightmare's creature is a large canine that underwent genetic engineering and surgical enhancement and possesses great muscle strength. Especially in the jaw area. The cranium is thick and sturdy. This creature has been fed a cocktail of antibiotics, which suggests an immune system deficiency. The secret to its uncanny resilience to gunfire lies inside its horribly mutilated, tough skin. A lattice of durathread, apparently implanted after the creature was full grown. Most worrying still is the presence of a tattooed barcode with a serial number. Okay. Sure, I guess. Ugh. I mean, Durathread's not that strong, though. You sure it's Durathread? Can we take another look at that, maybe? I think you got it wrong. Giant rat corpse? That's got an image. This giant rodent grows bigger than a house cat. Large size aside, it displays no significant changes from the more common members of the Rattus family. Its organs show signs of chronic inflammation, and its hormone levels are uncommonly high. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> it's, a it's a messed up 47, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, th this this guy gets priority. Oh yeah, that UFO we never shot down because we were still rearming. Syndicate HQ located in Denver. This is the place where the Syndicate gets orders from. Our objective is to capture the facility. We can expect extreme resistance from the Syndicate forces. The base is expected to be standard corridors and rooms of varying size. Syndicate agent disguise, unarmored dog, unarmored rat, and scout drone. Not a whole lot. And the Syndicate agent disguise, now correct me if I'm wrong, but the Syndicate agent disguise is terrible. And we need to do some more research to get a better one, right? Do some more of the, uh, 
undercover Persona Tron whatever things. Uh, no, little, no limit on guns, apparently. That's that's good. It's just we're forced to wear this. There is no better one. Oh. This, this is it. We chose to infiltrate them as a basic... <laughs> a basic shit man. Great. Why not, like, anybody cool? Or how about the syndicate dudes that actually have the armor with the faceplate, so then we don't even need to disguise as them with the Impersonatron. We can just wear their armor and they can't tell us any different from themselves. Hmm. Alright, so, uh... <clears throat> South America. There's no limit on vehicle or anything like that, right? No weapon, no vehicle. It mentions no vehicle, so we can fly there. We're not bringing the tanks, though, because they, uh, they don't really do a whole lot for us. So they're out. We can bring some fodder. A few dags. And then pretty much everybody else. Well, captains? I mean, I guess. I guess Eritus and Gambit? And armor-wise, get that out of there, and it's unarmored dog we bring along, so... There's that. Uh... Equipment-wise, though... Actually, just clear the- clear the whole thing. <clears throat> I'm definitely bringing the Pulse LMG because these are sick nasty. I don't mind saying they're sick nasty because they, they indeed are sick nasty. Um... Maybe even bring a, a tactical sniper rifle for that extreme damage. I don't think I have proximity grenades. Bring heavy laser. Let's take a look here at the, the good old... UFOpedia. Take a look at enemies. Because we're fighting Syndicate goons. And like, look at Syndicate security. They got a face play and everything. Jeez. Combat analysis. Incendiary is a pretty okay bet. Choke, obviously. A little bit resistant to stun. Not a whole lot, though. The front armor being a bit of a... A bit of a bugbear, but that's okay. We can rip through that. Nothing too wild, though. Uh, security captain. Much the same. Super soldier. Much armor. They take extra laser damage, these guys. So laser's a really good bet. Kinetic's less and less cool, but laser's a a great bet for them. Um, syndicate, true syndicate CEO combat analysis, I guess, sure. Yeah, nothing too fancy. I don't think we'd be fighting much of that. And the minotaurs they had a lot of. Laser is the way to go. We bring laser. Laser and choke. But these dudes with their 800 health, what was it, 200 feels like 800? Um, there's no getting them down. You just blast them in the face. A whole, whole bunch. Like, a whole bunch. Yeah, noose. Noose them. Oh my god, actually Dave with a noose? 
<laughs> that could work. Ah. Nah, we'll uh we'll laser him. That's fine. I keep clicking up here, expecting to click on a search box. Man. <clears throat> so laser cannons. Laser rifles. Plenty of ammo. I think we pass on all that stuff. We'll bring some flashbangs. You never know. They are pretty okay. They honestly are. We got our ridiculous chem damaged gun thing as well. Um, kinetic we're ignoring. Concussive we could bring, but I'm saving Sonic for underwater stuff because it's a bit limited. Um... Uh, technically, the napalm grenade would work, but uh, it's only 40 incendiary. Mm. The med kits we bring along. Need more med kits here. Tritanium rockets would also work. That 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 just deletes the whole screen. That's uh, <laughs> that's not that I want to be using in this map. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe a couple skull jacks and see? I don't know. Dino eggshells. A big bone? Oh yeah, the extinguisher stuff. Where's that at? Was that the chem pistol? Yeah. Bring a few of those too. You never know. Am I forgetting anything? Am I missing anything? Knockout grenades, I think we're just gonna pass on. Um I guess shrapnel grenades, we can bring those. Those are those are those are fine. Tritanium grenades. That's alright. I think that's about it. The stun grenades had a cool radius, but a lot of stuff had stun resistance, 30-20% or so. So not super great. If we're looking for spread damage and such, we've got the um, the Pulse LMG, which do you have the multiple waypoint thing? You do, spray shot waypoints too, so I can just kind of sweep across a hallway or so. <clears throat> oh yeah, what was the Ed 209 thing called? What was that? What was that called? Um... Syndicate Walker. Hmm. Well, if it's not in there. I guess I never researched it. Uh, I assume laser is okay, full red, or the crazy chem thing. I think we're okay. We'll be okay. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. It's a go there and kill the mission. Uh, maybe a few flares. You never know. May as well throw them on. Nah, I mean, we took out the walkers fairly easily with not even Matt's driver, I think. I'm not entirely sure what we used for that, actually. Maybe it was Mass Driver. Or maybe Laser, but like in its back or something like that, because its front armor, I assumed, was pretty strong. Laser cannons, since we're making the dart rifle ammo elsewhere. So there's that, and transfer over from New Zealand to the other bases. Nobelon. Because everybody's running a little bit low. Okay, they're pretty fine, actually. It's at nighttime, but I don't think that matters. Our agents have disguised themselves using impersonatrons, and we're about to enter the Syndicate headquarters. Our objective is to capture the entire facility to abort the mission. Blah, the blah. 
Right. So, um, our most, most accurate, 125, Dave GC. You get the tactical sniper rifle with the reload. Because this does power bonus based on ammo, we have the Tritanium on. 20% of your firing accuracy as bonus damage on top of the 70 damage that it does. So with your 125 firing accuracy, that's pretty fucking good. That's going to be about almost 100 kinetic damage this thing's going to be doing. Not to mention any sort of armor penetration that this ammo does. Uh, it rips through the armor. It ignores 35% of the armor. And it's a force spread between 50 and 200. So pretty good damage there. Anywhere between what, like... 50 and 200 damage, ignoring a bunch of armor. That's that's good. That's really good. Next up, we'll go with the Magma Pulse LMG with a reload on Ed Sart. It's got surprisingly good range, considering. Next, next, Lord Braska. A hundred two on Eritus. We'll give you... You can have an alien laser cannon, that'll be fine enough. That'll be okay. Um, 80 on Rogue, you can have a standard rifle with the reload. Same with Theoretical Theory. And last... Actually, it looks like everybody can pretty much have that. Do we want somebody to have the heavy laser? I guess last can have a heavy laser instead. That'll be okay. That'll be fine. So the rest of you get just a standard laser rifle. Okay. And then grenades, you've got a flare, have a flashbang. Not that it'll be too terribly useful. Have a chem pistol. Yeah? Ish? And size strength 100. Just in case one comes in close, you can skull jack it. Okay. I feel a bit strange still having two pulse LMGs left over. Feels dirty. I feel like I should put those on somebody. I think I put them on air at this. Or at least one of them. Erethus and, uh... Oh, jeez. Theoretical theory. Why not? Jeez, have it. Yeah, okay. I feel better about having the pulse elements rather than just laser with everybody. And the, uh, the, the laser cannons are okay, but... Jeez, the 130% aim shot of the heavy, uh, the standard laser rifle is just rip them. Okay, cool. So that's uh, that spread and heavy hits and skull jacks and we got a couple extinguishers on. Cool. Let's go. Lights on. Personal lights. Not that we have any. Turn those off as well. So there's one and two. Okay, we're kind of close to each other. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's, uh... You can't really fire and then come back and stuff, so... Whoops.
Yeah, they could do a little bit of reaction shooting at you, but... Auto fire, you've got nine left still. That's okay. Damn, he soaked a lot. <laughs> I didn't expect him to soak so much. All right, Naritus. Just enough to get back. Gambit. Take the kills while I can. Wreck the morale. Okay. So, pretty okay first turn, I think. I'm quite happy with that. Was there a Neil bonus for this? Yeah, 200%. Yep. So you can just kind of sit there and we'll go ahead and open the door for you and you can uh, you can fire at whomever. Whoops. Okay, fine. We'll do it next turn. I guess just to make sure that side room's clear. Okay. So let's you guys. The other group. What do you got? Syndicate Walker. A plant. Syndicate Walker. Okay, okay. Well, open the door for me. Yeah, don't give me that shit about your armor soaking it. You're not soaking all that damage. Fuck off. Sit down. Why don't you have a seat over there? Some bitch. Oops, sorry about your thing. <laughs> oh god, I hope that wasn't important. Ahem, <laughs> whoops. Valhydra, open the door so Orski don't have to. Walk you down. Face him, aim shot leaves you with 10. Bang right in the side. And back upstairs. I'm still a little bit concerned about... This door. Ah, uh, we're okay. Okay. So, turn one, I believe, is over. Looking fine. Pretty okay for a first turn, right? Man. I think there's a Minotaur in an elevator shaft about to do a spin attack. Alt and map view for a nice you yeah, the, the arrow thing pointing out where people are when you uh, sniff them out with radar or whatever. Fucking stupid. Didn't think Paul Sumji was that strong with chem ammo. Never used it. Whoop! Rip that sart. Found the Minotaur. Yeah, one did come upstairs. Uh, yeah, it, it rips and tears. It it completely shreds. Okay, nothing else down here. A whole lot of garbage around, though. Leaving the dog in the elevator? What for? So we could also get one shot? No, I'll pass. Things like that just happen. There's nothing you can do about it. 
You can claim some hindsight excuse and claim that you would have saved the person all you want, but it wouldn't have worked out. That's just how it goes. Okay, that weapon I don't think was too terrifying. Then again, with this armor, who knows? That's another CEO dork. Ooh, Lord Braska. And light up. Ha 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 ha. Ow, 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 fucking. Ugh. Uh, hi. <laughs> and a lot of them, huh? Man, oh man. Um. Pretty good chance you hit somebody when you fire that. That's all right. You know what I might do, actually? Lord Braska. Drop that and step off. Maybe Rogue. Yeah, and nah, not enough for it. Alright, have it back. I thought maybe you could sneak in a, uh... Where'd you throw that? Sneak in a, a cheeky auto-fire with it. That's okay. Raids of Dark Side can do a little bit of work, I think, yeah? All oh, right, you're still here. I forgot you were here still. We don't see him. Just disgusting how much that does. Okay, so there's that, unless there's another corner minotaur somewhere. This guy can maybe get on and ruin our day a little bit. One T three leaves you with seven, that won't be enough. Open the door for me. Get you down there. Uh, I don't think we can get a grenade. Or maybe we can get a grenade like here. Maybe. I don't think we have the time minutes for it now to then also get back up. I think we go for a snapshot with completely back upstairs. Auto shot the Minotaur. Missing with just everything. Zerados, what are you doing? Okay. Back upstairs, everybody out. Ideally. <laughs> Make it go through as many doors as oops, possible. Now that the dog's got time in it, so we can actually leave it here and he can maybe bark. Since we actually got time units now. Hopefully they don't just go for chewing. Okay. Did you shoot a shotgun and miss point blank? Oh, there's a lot of them. What a lengthy hidden movement this is. At some point they ought to start panicking and such, though we've killed so many in such quick succession. I don't think they've got a whole lot more to them.
Fucking hell. 326% aimed shot. <laughs> Excuse me? No. <laughs> no. You don't get to live through that. Sit down. Super soldier, my ass. Hi. Cannons. Cannons, please. Do we know where Rogue threw his fun toy? Is it downstairs somewhere? Did you throw it downstairs? Rogue's throw missed so bad he threw it down the elevator shaft. I don't even know entirely how. What a heroically bad sweeping shot that was. Can we also, like, quickly kill this guy? Oh, yeah, uh... Right. Excuse me. Or at least tickle him a lot, that's fine too. May as well get him out of there. Okay, so now you've got pretty clear fire. Who's that? An attack dog! Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh, the dog! <laughs> uh, anybody else still? Yeah, Rogue's got a bit. Rogue's got a little bit left. Fucking hell. See ya. Alright, I hope the other doors were clear. Because there's not a left that a lot not a not a lot else I can do. And Fletcher Reed took the shotgun. Okay, you did not miss. Sit you down. Steady loader, do a little little scout. Okay. <laughs> okay. Put the door for us, please. So Zerdos, three fatal wounds. That's basically you taking care of and Fletcher Raid with also three. Fine. Fine. Vile Hydra, you've got an important job. Don't let me down. 
you're going to try to prevent them from shooting up the elevator at us. Okay, and you guys already did your thing? Right. So what do we expect here? We're expecting an assault rifle thing? We're expecting him to hopefully die from Tritanium and the fire can maybe slow them down a bit, which is going to possibly put some pressure on these guys. But that's okay. Um, shotgun could probably do something. A couple, like a shotgun and a rifle, I think that is. I don't know, we'll see. Was not enough to take out the CEO, but I don't think he'll be feeling too good. Good stuff. The other side, though. Wasn't sure we'd have enough time minutes with the one dog to do some reaction. Looks like it was just enough, though. Attack dog panicking. Good sign. Good sign. Yeah, you can't really use this rifle, it turns out. It just ain't working. May as well head down there and pop open the door, see what we got here. The fire didn't stick around at all. And the CEO is nowhere to be seen. That's you. We're risking it with PTX Legend, keeping you out. Okay, so you would have either run back and run the corners, or inside the building. see uh, another guy there he's got a cause and he's really far away so not really a concern but let's take him out regardless snapshot okay a fine try we can probably just stay down there now at this point I wasn't sure if somebody else is behind him or not Looks okay. Looks okay. So instead of hanging out outside down there, we will see about just hanging out behind the doors up there. And this side of the map, we've got... You out of here. No CEO yet. What do we got behind this door? Not a whole lot. Don't shoot at my dog. That's not nice. <sighs> okay. Hey, welcome back, alcoholic tot. How you doing? You would be best spent. Ah! Found him. Yeah, come on down. Damn. Good try. You need to play doctor. So that's that. We're all healed up and safe. Uh. 
I got a super soldier when I can. I assume they're worth some pretty good panic points. File Hydra, get out of there. Theoretical theory, just hang tight. So that is us over here. He can reach us with his shotgun. A little bit scary. He can probably finish off theoretical theory or Fletcher Reed if he wanted to. Definitely Fletcher Reed because you're so injured. We'll see. Am I forgetting anybody? Seems okay. Why are we in a stone UFO? Good question. This is a Syndicate HQ using the same tile set as a Black Lotus HQ. Although this is a lot more terrifying, whereas the Black Lotus is pretty much just stand back at the elevator and shoot people with miniguns. This has a little bit of uh, some burlier stuff in it that the minigun would have a bit of trouble with. However, we're still managing pretty okay with the next best thing. Bang. Any movement nearby? Not really. Okay. Because you're doing pretty good scouting around the edges like that, and you can hide behind the corner there, and that seems fine. So I think we're okay to, like, kind of hang out in the elevator now with folks. I think we're okay to do that. The CEO we took out. He was standing around here. We took him out with acid. No problem. Standard dork. Bang. He was a dude with a knife that was there. There is a head of security there. Who we can take out with. Well, it's certainly theoretical theory. Do I need you elsewhere? Down there would be cool. Right down there would be cool. Let's see about taking out the head of security with laser. Didn't mean to do that. Wanted you to turn. That's fine, though. Miss with every shot. Perfect. Step up once so they can't do quite so much reaction on you. Missing with every shot. Fantastic. Pristine work, everybody. Alright, so theoretical theory. You get to snapshot him. And snapshot him. And then head back up. Well done. And that's basically us here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least face the fire. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to, like, camp the elevator a bit and take out Minotaurs with that thing, or at least hurt them a bunch, but... This hasn't had a chance to do anything yet. Thankfully, we also haven't really needed him.
Jeez, who isn't panicking and stuff right now? There's so many of them here. Goodness gracious. This is absurd. So much standard security goons, too. A tactical sniper. Gotta be tactical with it. Right, yeah, sorry. I need more pockets to use the damned thing. That's what it is. Need my cargo shorts. Oh! All right, that's looking clear. Up here, how we doing? There we go. Dog melee is quite okay, but they got 90 accuracy. They're bullshit with it. Okay, just one band there. Okay. He's basically surrendered, I guess. Orski, would you please? Ugh. I swear laser rifles are accurate. I promise. Ah. <sighs> Bleeding out. That's fine. I'll take that. Making skeletons out of people melting their flesh off like that. Yum yum. <laughs> Okie dokie. And you already did all your stuff. Okay. There's probably just like another Minotaur or maybe another CEO or something hanging around or maybe security captains also don't panic. I'm not sure. Probably not a whole lot more we have to take out though and they'll, uh, they'll surrender. I think they're just hinging on like one guy or two. Surrender and he gun him down with acid. Well, yeah, he could have picked, he could have had a gun hidden. I saw something in his pocket. It was there. I mean, the acid melted it, but it was there. I saw it. Even their attack dogs are panicking still. Come on, give up. It's over. Okay, let's, uh, you know, I'm just going to stay here, actually. I'm gonna stay. You can't convince me that I gotta move. Super soldiers might also not panic, I don't know. Kinda makes sense if they don't. Oh, daddy loader. Okay, you, you can come up then. Probably camp the doors with you guys too, actually. The scary thing is this little section. I'm not sure what to think about the. Plant is suspicious up there, right? 
It's not just me. I don't like it up there. Just lurking, looming, just around the corner. Not quite out of sight, you still catch a glimpse of it. It's just peeking. It's just peeking, having a quick peek. I don't fucking like it. I don't like it at all. Orski, hit something. Thank you. All right. You survived that? What a miserable existence. Just die, it's easier. Uh, torso goes flying off and slams against the door, ripping the door off its hinges. Oh yeah, that's an overkill. Hey, morning everyone. Or morning, morning Blue Jay. I mean, good morning everybody too, I suppose. But good morning Blue Jay. <laughs> Speaking and reading at the same time. Not the easiest. Imagine them blowing up the elevator. Don't say that. Yeti, there's actually a third level just beneath you this entire time. You didn't check to see if the elevator goes down more. And there's like three dudes down there with dynamite. They're going to get you. Fuck. I think we have to head out and find the last guys. I don't think they're all going to be coming to us anymore. What with them panicking and going berserk and all that. That's okay, though. We're kind of all ready to start heading out. dorks up there hanging around. That's through that door. Lord Browski, I think I'll have you because you got a cool acid gun. Head up that way. And Dave... We'll see about getting rearmed. I guess... Ugh... At least it's Tritanium, so it's 58 Kinetic. 58 Kinetic, that does ignore a bit of armor, I guess. Better than what you've got now. Because what you've got now, you'll never be able to fire. Fire and hit nothing. Perfect. Okay, that's that's us. Next. Damn it, just outside the door. Good try. <laughs> a really... Whoa, shit. A really good try. That's a misclick and a half. Ruh -ruh. Ah. Ah. We'll see. 
Because it could it could definitely come out and, and get you. Definitely do that. What about you if you like what if you run up and roll it or so, yeah? There you go. I don't think it's enough to take it out, but you know what? It makes me feel good that we did something at least. I like that. The feeling of doing something, even if you did nothing. It felt like I did something. I don't think Zeridos can get one. Up and around there too. Yeah, right in front of the door. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Good luck, everybody. If we can take that out, though, I think we'll be in really, really good shape. Yeah, got him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, we lost one. Lost one due to a minotaur just rushing the elevator. That sucks. It happens. Got an elite rating, though. 1,100 points. 51 kills. 9 corpses. Only 9 corpses recovered. I guess we just left them there. 10 surrenders. Bit of bravery on Vile Hydra and Orski. Accuracy on just about everybody. 6 of it on Eratus. A lot of sanity for folks as well. Good stuff there. Bunch of garbage weapons to get rid of. Three more of those rings. I I think now we can sell these, right? Um, I'll keep one just in case. It, it does have a dependency. I'll keep them all. Jesus, I don't fucking know. The CEO corpses. We are done with. No, we don't. We don't have the autopsy done technically because we took the one live. So I'll, I'll keep one. And the wrecked walker. Ah, okay. We did, uh... We don't get to learn about its specifics, I guess. And there's no manufacturer associated with that at all, so we can get rid of them, them, them too. And Super Soldier can teach us about the smart pistol, the macro SMG. For... This is why we can't have nice things, which we can get elsewhere. Well, you can also go... Scientist can teach us about just some stuff, I guess. I guess we can keep the scientist, why not? Security. Yeah, just the, the standard fare there. Anybody can tell us about that, though. Alrighty. A million bucks we got. That's okay. We don't use the grenades too often anyway. Shabby Wabby, grats on Commissar, and Dave, grats on Chief Agent. Very nice. Cannoneer on Gambit. For heavy weapons requiring high strength. Each level increases strength by one, as well as alternatively stamina or fire accuracy. So stamina for you, I assume. Salad, Keystone, Patient, Ice Cold, Killer, Gunner, Executioner, four executioners for killing five in a single mission. Theoretical Theory, Lord Browse, Kazerdos, and Gambit. I think Gambit was a heavy plasma that mission though, wasn't he? That's impressive. Zerdos and Fletcher Reed, Battle Scarred, Overwatcher, Theoretical Theory, and Zerdos, Elite Rogue, and Trooper, Flesher Reed. Firing Accuracy and Stamina. Not bad games, but man, rest in peace, Ed Sart. Fucking hell, Chief Agent with 61 kills became Warden of North America for the fourth time. Shit. That sucks. But, that's the HQ done. I'm assuming there's Syndicate HQ finished thing that we get from that. Oh, do we need a live walker? Oh yeah, we need a live walker for that. Disgusting. I mean, the final mission, HQ access led to just doing it. The headquarters itself we'd already researched. 
I don't know, it looks like we just kind of get sent something at some point. Syndicate was defeated. Spawns a Syndicate Testament at, at some point, I guess. Seems okay. Axe isn't dead. Calling it Axe Hala infers that Axe is dead. And that she mean Mars, in which case I don't think he's up at Mars. I think he... I'm pretty sure he just died at it. Ugh. And thus I did get something in, in this listing that's there. Oh yeah, it is there. Okay, we can do it straight away. I thought we were going to be sent something. Yeah, go, go ahead and uh, research that. That should be done tonight. Canister gun incendiary clip as well. 40 incendiary damage. Kind of fun. Kind of fun for the canister gun. I wanted to look at what the canister gun was to remind myself. I think that's what we're using, or what they use, the, like the really long 2B rifle thing, right? That kind of shoots like a shotgun spread of stuff. And you can go ahead and work on the corpse. Grats Vile Hydra finishing training in South America. The final message is done as well. From the underground complex, we have recovered a coded message, which appears to be from the actual head of the Syndicate. It appears it can be decrypted with one of those rings we found on Syndicate personnel. Would you like me to try it? Yeah, sure. Reach over in there into that drawer filled with them. I guess. Finish work on the mind shield. And I'll produce that. In New Zealand. They need a ring, though. Scientists arrived from the Middle East as well as some noble on. Where you went to the queue. Beat the informant. Would you get out of here, informant? No! No! Yeah, that would have sucked if I sold that ring, man. That's weird that you need it for the uh, for decrypting, though. It's a de it's a decoder ring. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking weird. Really weird. Okay, do we research that now? Okay. <laughs> was like, wait, nothing could pop up because it's a manufacturer thing that completed. Hmm. Stinger missiles arrived, enough of them to hopefully get them by for at least an hour and a half. Syndicate CEO Corpse, despite its nightmarish appearance, this creature has human DNA. Its body chemistry is highly modified through unknown means. It's heavily muscled, has a sturdy build, and a big brain, and a huge eye. Its body shape seems extremely adaptable with specialized muscles to forcibly contract it into a human form. So it just... it thinks thin and becomes a human. That proximity grenade decrypted testament is done. Uh, greetings, XCOM Commander. By dismantling our Syndicate cell on Earth, you have proven your superiority over the lowly masses. You have the potential to attain true superhumanity. All you need to do is cast away your allegiance to the so-called Enlightened Ones, whose only objective is to keep man in the dark and strive for mastery over nature and thyself. Either you will join us, or you will be destroyed along with all subhumans. Think well. Okay. And a, and a medium's coming, boy. Oh. Oof, at nighttime, though? Yes. But generally, if you want to hang out there for a bit longer, I could be down for that. We'll take a peek at that large. Just in case you feel like doing a mission for 12 hours. I don't know, it'd be a bit strange, but... Well, there it is. We're actually catching up to that. God damn. Not 
sure exactly what you are. Would like to shoot you down over some islands. You want to come over to Hammerfest? I don't even think I can shoot you down. Where are we going with this? Over there? Come on, fuel. Hang in there. Okay. So I don't think that will do it. Let's just go standard attack. Keep him at some range though, in case he's got a second weapon that's gonna fuck us up. Okay, I mean, we damaged you a bunch, so there's that. Good show, you. <laughs> New Zealand, can you reach? It doesn't have a whole lot left to it. Try it. Oh. Oh. You're busy. I see. You're still there. Alright. Random land surveys. Fucking awesome. I love land surveys. Well, I guess we should take a peek. That's gonna suck for sanity. But we should take a peek at least. Take some dudes off. Let's get the armor sorted here real quick. Have a laser. Have a mass driver. I don't know if you're accurate enough, either of you, though. I think Ove was. Yeah, 82. Oh yeah, cannon fodder is super accurate. That's right, 132. Okay, and no problem. So there's a two of you, and then sort by missing sanity. We're all okay. So sort by overall sanity. We'll, we'll bring our, our brainiest people. The smartest people. So now we only have to take Noble on once every, like, six turns. Aha. Okay. And there's that. And general equipment should be okay. Make sure we do have Noble on on. Good. Med kits. Plenty. Need to send some medkits around, actually. Other bases are a bit lacking. Lasers looking fine. Yep. Okay. Transfer also those medkits. Okay. And quickly head out, see if we can beat the knight. I don't think so. That still landed over there. I'm surprised. I think we're going to be getting there, like, just at night. Put that on pause. We'll take a look at these stupid land surveys. What? 80 dudes figuring them out. Duh, it's a rat corpse. Great. Okay, and here's you. I can go aggressive. Good job. Good show. Don't don't do that mission though. And New Zealand, since that's like right there, you want to take that out. Oh god. Take that out too. And there's another very large coming by. This is scary. What are you doing? They ought to have escorts soon. I'm a little bit scared of that. What did we get? Boomer organs, illegal requisition files, and one plasma. Terrific. Oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. It scared me. It scared me a lot just then.
Okay. Yeah, it is nighttime. Not super night though, like only just just a little bit night. Let's go with the intent to kill. There's mass drivers for a lot of people, except some of the weaker guys here. want to drop all of our EMPs though. Okay, so we got some laser, some mass driver. Fine. Anybody super duper accurate, 91 on 1440p, you get the mass driver sniper rifle. Enjoy. And we damn near parked on top of it. Phenomenal. Cyber dorks. Don't throw it yet. It'll fuck your world. But get ready. Why is it always fucking sectoids? Why, why, why? A thousand million bazillion jillion times why? I'm sick of sectoids. Can we fight anything else? There's like eight different alien types in this mod. You're so accurate, you may as well just go for snapshots. What do you think about that? Just being efficient because my deadliest enemy is sectoid. Why aren't they sending Black Lotus at me? They were also pretty deadly once upon a time. <sighs> I should have let that snake man base just exist. I didn't realize we'd be getting nothing but sectoids. Mm, snake man. I miss those. You remember Snake Man? He's still there. I don't think he's moved. There's a bush in the way. Can you shoot the bush, you dumbass? Oh, God. Oh, there you go. While kneeling, you could do it. Nice. Good work. Uh. Really? Well, I want you dead, so... Just do that. Yeah, because he's flying. The drop-off of the EMP is so horrible. If it's not directly under them, I think it only did, what, like 5% damage or something? Awful. Hey, I don't care. Hello, hello. Got a little bit closer. Is that too close? Well, shit, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Done to zero damage to it. I wonder if it's smart enough to open my door. I mean, you just shot some more, so we'll we'll try again. There you go. 
Hey, you can hit it. You also see it, Barbados? Little corner of it? Alright. Um. Fantastic. Man, they're healthy. They don't play in this, huh? Okay. We're okay. One fatal wound. We've been through worse. One down. Goodness knows how many more, though, right? I know they explode. That I knew. I just didn't know how big <laughs> or if it changed. Got it, though. Yeah, they really uh, they really take a punch, though. Man, I'm glad it's dead, though. That was, like, right outside our door. That was nasty. Garen, what have you missed? How we all doing? Well, I'm doing okay. I think chat's generally doing all right. Right? Everybody doing okay? I think so. Personally doing fine as well. A little bit irked about the sectoid spam that we're getting here. Um, not a whole lot I can do about that though. It just kind of... Kind of is what it is, you know? We'll prime it and throw it. Be careful. Is your lit now? Get that thrown. There you go. Hi. I mean, it explains the music, I suppose. <laughs> but doesn't it always play this track, actually? I think it always plays this track. Fucking MIB hanging out of you. Can we get another flare? Yeah, you took care of them. Get another flare out here. Oh, jeez. Drop it. Move off. Barbados. Uh. Got it. Oh, and you're just short, really? Oh my god, I'm exhausting watching. I just want to get a little bit of light out here. Now oh, the wing's in the way. Oh my god. I need to take a breather after that. Holy shit. Whew. A lot of work to get one flare out. Don't make me do that again. Alright. Yeah, a landed very large UFO. With men in black here. Ugh. Strange. But... If that means less cyber dicks. Kind of okay with that then. Who dat? You'd have to step, like, way out here. Good throw. Wow, like, right on him, almost. Hello. That's a cannon, too. That's rude. Well done, Ove. 
He got a pretty low roll against you. Like a really low roll. It's nice. So one of you had your own flare. Yeah. Uh, sure. I guess that also works. We'll throw it next turn, I suppose. Oh, right. We can't step diagonally like that. Of course. Tanks are out. Dudes are heading out. We are disembarking. Way back in those trees. What kind of strength you got? 62? 64. Pretty fucking good. <laughs> ah. Solid hit. Also a solid hit. Um, tear effect aim shot only eighty four percent. Good enough though. Snapshot? I know, okay. I wouldn't have thought so. And you won't have an angle because there's a ship in the way. I will and thicken our smoke though. Snapshot, 11%. Ugh, fine. Okay, we can do uh, we can do a little bit of picking on it with these guys, though. I just uh, wonder a little bit about how much damage it's actually going to be doing to our tanks, because Ove is going to be just taking these shots, and Cyber Discs I think are pretty accurate. If they're anything like Bio Drones, which I think Bio Drones are supposedly not very accurate, but man, let me tell you. They, uh, they slap? Is that right? They slap? Is that how we're saying it nowadays? Barbados, I think we get you up on top of this hill. You'll be illuminated, but you know what? They see at night anyway, I'm pretty sure, so... It is what it is. You know, I could maybe get... Could have maybe... Lie, like, it wouldn't have that much smoke vision, right? I probably could get a smoke in it over there and save Ove. Bit light now, but... Probably could have. So youthful with my slangs, right? Jeez. God. But please, dear Crumb. Don't sound so old. Call me Fly. I'm very Fly. Come on. Get with it, man. You're so yesterday with your words. It chose not to shoot. Fine by me. Rip Forest. So that's that. Nah, just overall, overall pretty fly. Just overall quite fly. So that's, that's him done. Um, can we get another flare up in the top corner and see what, what all that is? Next, next turn, I guess. 
Or do you have one to your effect still? No. Stack of pancakes? Yes. But that's pills. What's blocking? A tree? Okay. Would like to also light that door. Might grab some more flares off off the ship too, I don't know yet. Come on, just sidearm it, man. I know you can do it. There you go, good enough. Ah! Excuse me? You're lucky they didn't blow up my shit. Ow. You okay? Yeah, one fatal wound. Can I help you? This nerd over here. Oh, there's another disc up there. Well, shoot at that instead. Although, it's on the ground. The EMP grenades are really heavy. Let's take the aim shot. 105%. Snapshot, 72%. Stack of pancakes. Aim shot, 73%. So he's out of here. Cannon fodder can take an aim shot at the cyber disc. Ove can drive up and maybe catch a glimpse of it. All of your time is for an aim shot. That's okay though, maybe. No line of fire. So we'll park here. Your Fine again. There. An EMP right under it would be great, but we'd need like 172 strength to make it that far, so... That ain't gonna happen. But what we can do is relocate this flare. I'd ensure we keep that area lit, because the fire right there is helping us see him, and if that fire dies down, then we're out. What is blocking? Oh, those trees. Fine. Hang out here for a little bit more in case there is something hanging around there. You can maybe catch a glimpse of it. Just trying to make sure we get the entire outside clear before we move indoors. I will see about that smoke grenade thing, because I don't think a cyber disc from so far away would be able to see us. It kind of goes both ways, unfortunately, and I don't think that's going to be good enough, Coleo. Don't think so. There we go. That'll be enough. Okay. And we can see about doing some really, really cheeky aimed shots and stuff from afar with laser rifles. See how that goes. Two variants of very large UFOs. One is a classic version, and the other one has doors on the engine room pods. Ugh. What about these guys? I mean, this one, this one's got no sunroof or anything. I want to say, didn't one of them have uh, doors on the sides in Classic as well? I don't know. 
sanity check. We all doing okay? Yeah, looking all right. So, Ove, can you spot it still? It's okay. That's okay. We'll see about using you guys to spot. We're gonna hang out over here and be ready to pick on it from afar. Maybe rip apart some trees. I don't know if it'll do enough to take out trees. Hello, it's, good sir. It's terrain damage is pretty low. Sky down with seven months. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, who is the the weak side? I don't think I've got a great way to find out currently. Not sure. A flare down there would be cool too. But let's see about just getting in close to this little foot, I guess, landing pad thing. Since we got a bit of smoke cover now, it's sort of our chance. 1440p, we'll get you over here with your mass driver sniper as well. Maybe give you a, give you something of an angle to shoot at the cyber disc for with, because reasons and words. Okay. Yeah, I made a bit of light. I don't think that took out even a single leaf though. It's like 25% terrain damage multiplier. It's pretty terrible. Yeah, nah, nothing. Just wrecks the bitrate some more. Okay, it's hanging out in a tree somewhere, I think. Or this general area. Do we have any flares left? Perfect, I found one tier effect. Can you throw it over this massive ship and uh, just over here? Jesus H. All right, well done. Perfect. <laughs> what a throw. Yeah, I ain't seen it. It's somewhere in there, though. seeing anything. Okay. Scoop that onto your leg so it's extinguished. If you're just holding it, it still uh, provides light after being thrown. But if you clip it onto your leg or belt or anything like that, the light goes away so you're still in darkness. Couple attempts. How are they doing? Ah, oh, you're fine. You're fine. No problem. I don't know, man. It's out there. You guys may as well be keeping an eye out for it because the tanks can't really go in and help, so... Yeah. Let's see about getting, like, down here and throwing over the... ...ship, though. Uh... What do you have? I have plasma cannon. Good shot. Wasn't quite enough. Yeah, fair. <laughs> What's your strength? 60? 
Whoops. 64. What the fuck is... Where's the cursor at? God damn. Yeah, still... Still range issues. But... Maybe to Shabby? Yeah. Uh, not really, actually. <laughs> Probably best to just step out and fire at him. Bang. Right in the jaw. Well done, Shabby. Good snapshot. Saving lives. Alright, still waiting for that cyber disc to show up. There it is. It's over in some fire. Or was. There he is. Like right there. Like right in front of you. How'd you not see him? It's okay. Couple 48 blind aim fires. Genuinely no line of fire for you. Probably a tree of some form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have to be just on the ground. You gotta be like way up here, man. Get away from these fucking trees. I don't think you've got an angle because of the the floor above you, right? Eh, a little bit of an angle. Holy shit, really? Good hit. Man, their sidearm roll must be garbage or something like that. Or he just got a super roll. That's that problem handled. That's him handled. I think we're okay to head into the ship now. Or that might have been one we hit before. It could be. Hard to know. There were sort of two in the same spot. Under Armour, as far as I know, cannot be shot. If you're standing directly under them and you shoot directly up to them, I think it counts as front armor. I think. I don't know what you're playing. I don't like that, though. Could you step away, please, with that Devastator Cannon? Thanks. Jeez. I used to think that shooting somebody from down beneath into their underside would hit the under armor. Um, but I was informed with evidence that that is not the case. So. The more you know, I suppose. Alright, hateable vermin. We can start doing a little bit of noble on snacking here with these guys. There's a few of you who are looking a little bit iffy. Stack of pancakes as well as tear effect. Just throwing pills into each other's mouths. They're very efficient with this. Sort of a hot potato skill that they've acquired, except with pills. Good stuff. Forgetting anybody? Okay. I am making a bit of an assumption that this corner is clear. I don't know if that's wise or not. Ooh. 
Oh shit! Ha! Ah. <laughs> My ass! Yeah, that bites, don't it? Oh wait, these are fat Thors. I was gonna take a peek and see who's in here. Hello. Hey, all right, we can use the sh uh, the ships, the tanks. Good deal. Uh, what happens if I do this? Ah. Ah, fine. I wasn't sure how it would do that. Fucking all the next come. They thought of everything. We're coming in. I'm also going to make a quick stop inside the ship. For you guessed it, Polslungs. Our favorite. Grab a few. Colio looking a little bit rough as well with Noble on. There you go. Okay. Hey, a soldier panicking. That's good. Soldier going berserk as well. The leader's still alive and well. Not sure about Stack of Pancakes having one of these things. I think we just, uh, we'll give one to Hateable Vermin. There you are. Off you go now. And, uh, Tirithak will just, uh, hang on to this for safekeeping. Stack of Pancakes, if you'd like, you can go ahead and explore this corner and make sure it's clear, yeah? Just hang out behind these trees over there. Away from us. Ugh. Can you dual wield with high enough strength? Kind of. Weapons have a two-handed penalty. If it's a two-handed weapon, there's a one-hand use penalty. So it's really more of a question of do you have the accuracy to do that? Because it could be that if you're super accurate, you may as well dual wield. But there's not a whole lot of reason to also. All it really does is just allow you to not have to reload and just fire the other gun instead. It's not like it reduces the time units of firing that way. Not like the UFO series. Man, UFO will let you do anything. Hi, also, by the way. How about you first? And then you. Yeah! <laughs> I hate the elevator stuff. Gosh, I hate that. I hate that so much. So now, how are they doing with panic and such? Soldier panicking, navigator going berserk. There's still a navigator somewhere here. I doubt we're gonna get that. Who'd you just gun down? It killed somebody. I heard that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I don't know. We got uh, we got stun grenades and stuff, so I, I suppose there's a chance. I ain't gonna take too many chances, though. I kind of want to just do this nice and clean. Maybe they shot an MIB guy. Yeah, they had like a dude held hostage and they just shot him. I took too long. Too many turns passed. <laughs> I guess you could, you could do that in a weird way with the roll files, because you can set environmental effects where on certain turns a certain effect can happen so you can make it so there's just an effect that only this particular guy can take damage from everybody else is just inherently immune and on turn 30 that effect kicks in doing the damage and kills the guy you could be like oh he had a he had a timed explosive collar or something and he blew up and he's dead now you didn't get him in time you were too slow Oh boy, a few soldiers, couple navigators, and the commander. Proper fucking commander. Oh fucking hell. Uh, 
I mean, we could we could always punch with this armor. That, that does work. I don't think they surrender, Banekun. Can Sectoid surrender? That'd be a bit strange if they could. That don't go up anymore. You know, I kind of want to just drive on top of his weapon and park on it and be like, nah, nah, you can't use this. That one's got a launcher still. Okay. Just... Ow! Getting my bearings, you asshole. Twitchy motherfucker, isn't he? The hell'd I do? So rude. So that'd be the medic, I assume. This guy... I don't know, just some soldier probably looks like he just has a rifle. The medics typically have these. It's apparently loaded with Illyrium, so watch out. It's okay though, we're loaded with a bunch of acid. Like, boatloads of acid. We're, we go and get them. Navigator. Oh, it could be a navigator too, maybe. I don't know. Couple navigators still. Shit. Leader panicking. Fucking hell. There's still some good stuff on this mission. Let's, uh, let's quickly swap some gear over. There's still a lot of good stuff. I thought there'd maybe just be, like, a navigator or something when this is all over, but there's actually a, a good lot still. Excuse me. Sorry, I guess? The fuck? He just took that. He's like, no. No, you. Okay, he's dead. Just to keep the panic and stuff going. What? Oh, three left. Uh oh. Good luck, Barbados. I'm sure you'll be okay. There's only a dude with the explosive stun launcher up there. It's fine. Probably. Sack of pancakes, you doing okay? How we doing out of here? Looking fine. Good work. Soldier going berserk, soldier going berserk. Soldier upstairs a lot in that corner, apparently. Very clearly. Navigator panicking. Another navigator panicking. A medic panicking. Leader going berserk. Where are you at? We don't know. Okay. Mm, yeah, dart rifle, I, I guess. We don't have dart pistols anywhere. Like anywhere. Oh. Yeah, dart rifle, then fine. Dart rifle, you can grab a quick pistol. Bring that over for somebody else too. We'll see about doing our pistol and and dark combo. We pretty much have to. Sanity check. Add eh, the one okay. Commander with some form of plasma. No sign of them yet. And 
our bodice as well. Getting there. I'm keeping Ove here because of the front armor. That's nice. But cannon fodder's health is too low, so I'm not doing that with you. I think cannon fodder can kind of set this mission out a little bit, actually. Because hateable vermin, you can also have a little bit of... A little bit of noble on with tear effect, how about? All right. Almost, guys, almost. Hmm. Who was that? I didn't quite catch that. Clearly not the leader. Navigator? Okay. Well, don't throw it over to him, per se. But just somebody? Okay. And Trissy's got one as well. Or Barbatus. I guess just drop that. If our AI drones can pilot any alien vehicle, which one do you want? Sectopod, probably. I think is the more obvious answer, right? Sectopods are pretty great. Or Tri-Scenes? Do Tri-Scenes count as a heavy weapon platform for the aliens? I think it should, and I choose Tri-Scene. Rip that guy. <laughs> Don't know if that was the commander or not just then. It, it a little bit looked like <laughs> it might have been. Uh, how bad are you? Three fatal wounds? It's okay. Good reactions though, I suppose. Well done. There's a dude right here. Does have a shield. Ow. Just a rifle, right? Yeah, okay. Can we hit ya? Looks good. Okay. Oh, what? Uh. And open the door for Shabby, who will take an aimed shot. Uh. And a snapshot. Eh? Uh. Hmm. Who had the primed grenade? Of course, Shabby with no time units. Well then. Why does that not work? It's okay. We can shoot up. You can exploit the game and spawn garbage through the floors with arcing throwing weapons. You can't do it with grenades, though. But I thought with the elevator shaft being able to shoot through it, we'd be able to throw through it, too. Ah, well. Um, yeah, an extinguisher for Barbatus. Uh, also a bed kit for ya. We can do that. We can heal you at least, as far as the fire goes. You're gonna have to maybe just like shoot the ground or something and extinguish yourself. I don't know, man. down. Good stuff. Medic panicking, leader panicking. Leader is still around. That's him. Alright, good reactions, I guess. Uh, 
mind. <laughs> it's okay. We we don't need leaders, right? God damn it. Uh Okay, I think the things that leaders give us are less important currently than what engineers give us. Engineers are the really big ones that we need. So yeah, Shabby, Trissy. We got a pistol on 1440p. That's the navigator. Okay. All right, unless this goes up again, it doesn't. We seem to be safe to just exist inside. We are proper in. Arbutus. I assume you can shoot the ground with the, uh, with the Huatzit. I guess a stack of pancakes can fall back and hopefully not lose his mind and extinguish you if he needs to. Give you a good old pat down or so. Medic. Polio going berserk with a stun rifle. Great. Okay, so there's an elevator up, and then those little doodads there. Okay. Let's do this one at a time, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. You'll eventually extinguish. <laughs> stop! Stop chopping and roll! Ah! Oh, Barbados. They never know to do it. They never know. They come up, and if you come up and shoot us, then it kind of is what it is. They come down. I know there's a dude over here somewhere. They're going berserk. They could just come down and pop out and get us. I think we just gotta kind of tank it literally, but smartly. Leader Berserk, Commander panicking. Polio also panicking, that's fine. Pod one is clear. I love that you can open doors. It's a bit funky. But boy, is that handy. Bring this guy into a safe spot or something, you yeah? know? Do you just exist, hang out? Colio's a bit in trouble, I guess. I don't I don't know what to do for you exactly. I don't really want to lose cannon fodder, because you're you're a pretty proper tank. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody came up and around, but they've got kind of a garbage gun. A lot of mind control attempts happening. They're very hard trying. Only panic though. So hi. Uh... Ah, there you are. What? 
Did you shoot the tank just then? How the fuck did you miss? Hmm. Our next best bet was using the tank, and the tank would definitely kill it. How'd you miss? 1440p? Ah. Still okay here. Looking fine. Hey, Barbados is back. Nice. Very super wounded, but back. Here, take my gun. Somebody. I'm gonna rest. I'll keep an eye on the that guy. And you can be a breach guy again. Well, not a breach guy. Infiltration guy. Yeah. Oh, Coleo. Size strength 15. Yeah. I'd like your gun back, too, please. Thank you. I was going to say, what's, what's even up here? Guy with the rifles right there. Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, you can't see him. That's a flash. That's not the... Nobleon. That's the one. <laughs> Can you see anything? <laughs> Take a peek! Nah? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They can shoot up at you right now, but... Maybe you'll be alright. You also see him. Okay, so this is like one huge room. Okay. I wish Coleo wasn't so worthless right now. Damn. Navigator going berserk. No line of fire. Okay. I guess you're a navigator though? Colio, come here and open the door for me. Thank you. You can get out of the way. 1440p can shoot him. 1440p how? Thank you. Oh my god. The shield's still up annoyingly. Oh, there's a... F oh, that's a balcony. Like a... Not a balcony. Just a barrier thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, no line of fire. Hmm. Somehow that wall is in the way. I don't like the elevator shooting through mechanic. It's strange. It works like it's broken. As in, not at all. Just keep an eye on this guy, I guess, right? Just give him the good old hug. Kinda wanna just like start going in there and killing him. This is bad for 1440p.
We'll lock you in there. Wow, cool. Fun room, man. I don't know. It's pretty bad for 1440p in there. Polio's under alien control. However, I sealed him in there. 1440p, you have one final objective. Beautiful. Well done. Hey, you might actually survive. Uh, I guess keep him there. That's fine. Gonna drop that. Open the door, head on in. Knock him out. We'll check in you later. So you can actually just pick that up. That's fine. I thought I might need you for the stun, so I didn't want to use any more time minutes than I had to. Okay. Only a moderate burning currently. And I guess you can... Take a shot at him and he can self-destruct. Fantastic. Apparently you can fire that with not many time units. Looked like he moved a decent enough amount that I didn't have to worry about him doing a reaction shot, but oh well. <sighs> Movement outside? No, I think it was the... Uh... Our friend locked away in the cellar that it might have flashed because they're mind controlled currently. He's having a pretty rough, miserable time down there. He ain't doing so hot. It's okay though, he's sealed in. Ovi won't let him get through. So, currently on fire, which is a, a bit of a worry. But, uh, yeah, been through worse. Navigator. Okay. Just a big room there. It seems like we're okay down here. I think they would have come up at us if they were, uh... around already, yeah? Kill him up a little bit. Keep him going. Do we have... Trissy's got pills? Just the one use. Oh, 1440p's got a bunch. Thank you. Home. I don't have handcuffs, and the handcuffs against these guys actually overstunned them. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> it's apparently a massive risk. If he wakes up, we just punch him dead. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Not on this mission with as much as we've done already. It's, uh, it's kind of at that point, you know. Anybody else, like, really low? Tanks a little bit. That's all right, though. Obviously, Coleo. Ignore the scrims. It's every everything is fine. Well, I don't have to worry about your reaction firing that, at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys! Uh, come on back! <laughs> this one's got a... <laughs> he's got a necklace on his HUD. What's he doing over here? What are you doing over here, guy? Ah, oh, jeez. He's not gonna, like, blaster bomb through that at all, is he? Alright, yeah, come on back, everybody. This this guy's less important currently. I think we found the leader. Or commander, or captain, or whatever the fuck they're called. Just exist. Yeah, that's all. That's all that. Didn't hear any doors. So I guess he's still... He's still in there, I think. I don't think he fell back. There's nowhere for him to go. There's no, like, back door here, so... That's that's still that. Oh my god, 1440p is about to pass out. That's fine. Good job. Bye. I'm about to pass out. The dude's just like super woozy, just like stumbling down the elevator. Uh, hi. If somebody's saying Axe is dead, Axe isn't dead. He's still out there somewhere. We're gonna find him. We're gonna get a rescue mission for him one day. You just watch. You're like, wow, I didn't even realize save Axe was a mission type in this mod. Well, it is, and we're gonna get it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, Colio's basically lost. It's fine, though. I think it's just him left. Shabby's got that stun grenade. Okay, hateable vermin can open the door for you. You can run out. Um, we can get like Tirithact or so to open the door for you. Ah, he woke back up, huh? Moin, moin. Picked up the pulse, LMG. <laughs> what a son of a bitch. They know how to use the pulse, uh, LMG. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go, go, go! Shield's still up. Uh, just run then. We will open the door with you. Shabby Wabby is quite primed, but you would need to run into that room to do anything because the door is going to close bef before the grenade blows up. The door closes immediately before. So Shabby being super primed doesn't really do a whole lot for us. So we have to do this kind of normal. 
but that's okay. You missed. That's a hit. He's bleeding. throw. Ha! Did he bleed out? I don't know. We'll find out. Three live enemies sounds good. Because I think the guy upstairs is... Yeah, we stopped his bleeding. Ugh, man. Very large, though. 22 entertainment. That's good. We can finally afford that sensorium thing. We got 238 alloys, 200 lyrium, 115. Stat ups for a lot of folks. Sanity is going to be looking pretty rough. So enjoy having a holiday, whichever base this is. I think this is Middle East, right? And loot wise. A lot of stuff and things. Two plasma destroyers, a small launcher, a lyrium bomb, blaster launcher with the blaster bombs, 10 grenades, the illyrium, the alloys, UFO power source, navigation, entertainment, sectoid corpses, 13 sectoid corpses, two navigators, and the commander. Nice. And the corpses we can get rid of. Yeah, there's no reason to hang on to them. That is really strange that there is a sectoid corpse thing that we, we haven't done. Animals. Time for the weave interrogation. <laughs> Sailor Mars! <laughs> yeah, right. God. Alright, sell it, transfer. Oh, this is Middle East. Perfect. Cool. Storage space exceeded. Fine. We'll sell off. Honestly, the auto cannon gunship wasn't a fan. It's it's cool, but I like the I like the laser flying drone a lot more, honestly. Because this thing is just, like, woefully inaccurate. The auto shot of six shots is pretty cool, but, um... It's, like, 35% accuracy? Like, it's horrible. And jumpsuits, I think we can get rid of as well. Personal armor, I think we can drop a bit off of. Throwing knives, bow, crossbow, wrench. I think all this garbage we can get rid of. Well, the giant axe we hang on to, that's axes. We'll keep that just in case he comes back. Bombs of Blade, Pitchfork, Deep One Spear, Katana, Ancient Katana, supposedly a psi weapon that we can maybe use in the dream world, I don't know. Somebody said something about that. Spy pistols we'll keep, but we're gonna just keep the Tritanium stuff. God, we're like way overburdened. Don't think we're gonna be using the hydro laser, that's fine. Although we might need for research still. Toxic guns, the toxic gun flasks. I think we use the alien gardens to make that. The heavy cannon don't care. Auto cannon don't care. Alien laser cannons we're selling actively. A black ops minigun we can get rid of. I think Hats the Crom meant to say tuxedo mask because his effort is as significant. Oof. Tuxedo mask. <laughs> The hell's a tuxedo mask? What the the gold tinsel and shit that the thing had wrapped around its face? Looked ridiculous. The incinerator too. What do we need for that? Plasma weapons calibration. Okay. I'm interested in the incinerator stuff. That could actually be pretty fun. Okay. 
And that is technically all we need to sell. It's almost 600 Illyrium that we've got. Yum. Okay, and we are out of a lot of stuff. They did blow up some of our stuff. They blew up some heavy lasers. The gas cannons. We can replace that though, that's fine. That's nothing too wild. We can do a quick inventory check. Death dealer, solid keystone patient, executioner on Ove. Nicely done. Bane of Sectoid Cannon Fodder, Master of the Heavy Weapon Platform, Mass Driver, a few people getting Elite as well. Awesome stuff. Oof, Zircrum with a 5-bit cheer. Down to pennies here, Brian won't even acknowledge me. Brian just like turning his head like, Tuh. <laughs> Tuh. And that was the large that we shot down. Man, I wasn't uh, sure we'd actually be doing that. Fucking hell. Especially because it was a little bit nighttime, I really didn't know. I think we got super lucky with that. Navigator, Commander, queue them up. I'm going to take a quick break though. I need to use the restroom and refresh my water. I'll be back in a few, like uh, four minutes or so.